Yo, what's good people and welcome back to Night Vision. We're here for part two. I'm not going to talk much. This discussion here is going to be on Kenny Jacket. I'm not going to say much else. Leon. Obviously, I'm seeing Kenny Jacket's in a situation where his health is ain't the best. Whatever it was, to be honest, I didn't even click the link to go into to see the information. All I saw was he ain't going to be at some games and he needs to take a rest. So I've tweeted, I don't care, I wish him nothing but the worst. Now I'm getting backlash saying, ah, oh, what a vile human being you are, what a piece of shit you are, blah, 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 this, that, and the other, red, red, red. But what these men need to realise is, yeah, is that at the time, I'm in a job. Football's a job, you know. Regardless if it's entertainment or whatever, football's a job. You get paid to do your job. It's your life on the line, you know what I'm saying? It's your back. It's what gets you by from day to day, getting paid, doing your job, getting paid, doing your job, getting paid, doing your job. If you're not doing your job, you get released, you got to go and find your own thing, and then that's it. I think it's important for the people to see that perspective because too, too much of the time, players are treated like a commodity. They don't understand that there's a person behind the, uh, kicking the ball. There's someone with a family. There's somebody whose life that they, they have to take care of. Do you know what I'm saying? All I want to say to people is, in your life, whatever line of work you're in, right? You Like office work, receptionist or whatever, builder, you're in construction, you're in whatever, and you're doing your job. You're doing your job to the best and you're getting praised for doing your job. Praised. You know you're doing your job. You're getting praised for doing your job and you continue to do your job. There's no hassle. There's no hiccups or in-betweens or whatever. You're doing your job. Then out the blue, somebody comes to you and tells you, we don't want you in this job no more. He don't give you no reason, nothing. Now, if you start wilding up, we're in the industry, football industry, they know this. If you start wilding up now, that leaks out, it gets to other clubs and whatever and this, that and the other. Yeah, now I've already got a bad reputation. I've had a bad reputation from, I landed in football for some reason, just because I, I want my flipping feelings known or I ain't gonna sit down to any bollocks and take the stupidness. It ain't gonna happen, yeah? Now it don't happen. You can't do football as nothing right now. Look at Mourinho. You try to do football as anything, look at, look at Gareth Bell. So not like I was even going on them sort of flipping, like, come on. I wasn't saying I'm going to sit on the bench and get paid. Regardless of what. I'm sitting on the bench, nobody can't tell me nothing. And that's it. Not really, I don't really care if I don't get paid. I mean, I don't get, if I don't play. I don't care. I'm not doing that. All I'm saying in certain times, I'm saying, boy, I'm here to do a job. Have the midfielders feed me, have the wingers feed me so I can do my job. They want you running out here, there, everywhere. Then when it's time to do your job in the middle, sometimes you might not even be there. You're wasting energy to doing other things and what, it's not even about fitness. Cause everybody gets tired, bro. It's a fact, human beings, man. This is what I'm trying to say. So what I'm trying to say is, that's how I came up. Yeah? But people had a problem with that. Yeah, nobody would have a problem with that now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and really, really as a manager, before you sign a player or when you step into a club or whatever it may be, you need to understand the characters of your players. Did you come after him or did he come after you did? Thank you, that's a good question. So now I left Brighton, yeah? Right? They paid a couple hundred, a hundred thousand or so for me, Swansea, right? Now, before they paid it, obviously, and I had to agree to the deal. Bruv, I'm there at 11 o'clock at night. Remember, the deadline's at 12. Mm. We're going through wages or whatever, and this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah? He's saying, boom, all right, cool. I'm asking for a certain wage. Boom, okay. He's going to do gonna be a little bit of shuffling around within the squad. Yeah? We'll give you that. Bless, that's no problem. So I said, all right, cool, no problem, save. Where's the pen? 
Where's the paper? Let me sign a contract. Man, sign a contract. Bang. I think it's the next day. We had a game. Yeah? We've got a game the next day, cuz. The next day we've got a game. I'm not fit. Yeah? I'm not fit. Yeah. I, 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 don't me. I don't care. I wasn't fit. I wasn't playing at Brighton. Yeah? I wasn't to, to the fittest that I could be. But you know what? Mentally, mentally, I said, you know what? Let me get myself mentally right for this game here. Because he's, he's going to play. Yeah? We buck into the changing room now. Obviously, you're meeting your players, rare, 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 and this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. Remember, I ain't even trained, you know, to meet no players, you know. So, all right, cool. Hello, hello. Boom, 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 boom. Roberto Martinez says, oh, Nani, what are you saying? How many goals are you going to get today? You can go to this. Where is he the manager? Belgium. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is, he is. He is. You can go to him now, and if I'm lying, I'm a dickhead. Nighty, what's going on? What's going on, my brother? You cool? Cool. How many goals are you going to get today? I said I'm going to get three still. Like that, yeah. You just told him you're going to bang a hat. And what happened? Man banged the hat, as you know. That's how it started, cuz. Yeah? And it didn't stop. It didn't stop. Not like I'm going all six, seven games. I'm not scoring and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes this man will have me on the bench. I'll come on tuck. Played me, I'm tucking. We're losing games and still I'm tucking. But don't, don't try and take it like, oh, as long as I'm tucking, it's okay. No, we want three points. Because it's moving together as a team, as a squad, as a club. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm doing my job. Yeah? Then we have a team meeting after the team meeting. I think we lost to Gillingham. We lost to Gillingham 3-1 or something like that, or 2-1, whatever. It was on my birthday. I scored. We lost 2-1. I call. Right, cool. We're going to... We're next, two days later, we're going to training. We've got a team meeting. Boom. No problem. Normal team meeting. Normal team. Yeah, 90. Can I see you after, please? Bro, all these times I'm thinking to myself... Right, this brother's coming to give me a new contract because I'm doing my thing. At that point there, yeah, because I didn't play after that. At that point there, I've scored 19 goals in 25 games. Then out the blue, cuz, this brother comes and tells me, you're no longer in the squad, you're no longer in the team. So I'm looking at him. Bro, I've got tears in my eyes, cuz. I'm looking at him and I'm thinking to myself, so why is, what am I, What's going on? Not even a man's coming to man's coming to purchase you and we've got to sell you and rare, 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 this, that, and the other. I'll accept that. I would even accept if he said, listen, you've been caught doing this, or you've we've heard you've been doing that, or rare, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'll accept that. My bad, it's on me. I've got to now deal with it. These men can't come and tell me nothing. My head, I'm saying to myself, all right, cool, no problem. I'm going to come in training. I'm dead the training. Everyone's getting dubbed out. Every goal's getting scored, everything. So I'm back in this side. Ah. Oh. I'm not even training with the first team. I'm training on the beach by myself with a coach running the whole length of the beach. Then when, I need, when they want to get me to training, I'm training with the under-18s or something like that. Until this day, brother, there's been no answers to what I have. I don't care if man says 15 years ago. I don't care if man says 30 years ago. At this point, no one knows where I'll be if I was carrying on that ratio there. So that was a turning point in your career, really? No one knows, cuz. After that, I said, fuck it. Man can say, oh, well, you shouldn't have said fuck it and rare, 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 blah, blah, blah. But man gets slung to the side at Brighton. Yeah. I'm also doing my team. We got promoted that seat that year. And 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 halfway through, not even, I don't think it was halfway through the season. We both come to a conclusion, oh, this ain't working out. Let me just go back now. This is what I'm trying to say. 
How's it not working out? I've got promotion was there the last season before. We're in a new league. Let's try and do our thing and blah, blah, blah. Now, if the manager wants to go a separate way and says, boy, I'm going to have to sell you to my man, you know, it's blessed. I'm cool with that. They did that to Swansea. I got bought to Swansea. It was a lower league down, but I got bought to Swansea. Cool, no problem. I've been in this league before. I can do my thing. You feel me? Mm. So I'm doing my thing now. Then all of a sudden, like I said, out the blue, bang, you're gone. That's it. No backstory, no reason, nothing. He just decided that that's it for you. You see where I'm from? You can't do badness to people and expect sympathy when something's going bad for you. It don't happen like that. And regardless if you think it's 20 years later, 15 years later, 10 years later, who gives a shit? I don't care, cuz. I don't... How do you know I'm not sick from that? How do you know? How do you not, not know? No, I'm not. I don't come on and run on and tell people about my, my, my health or my mindset and this, that, and the other. I feel like that has to be kept to me. And within my family. But how do you know? Nobody knows. So when you see me going off a certain way, shut your mouths, innit? And you like might say, oh, Leon's a prick. He's a vile human being. Once again, he's showing that he's a piece of shit. Blah, 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 and this, that, and the other. But like I said, if you got viewers in your line of work, and that's your line of work to pay your bills and whatever you need to do and whatever, and then you was doing your job to the best of your ability, and everybody's praising you for doing your job, and then out of the blue, your manager comes to you and tells you, you're no longer wanted in this job. There's no reason for that, but you're no longer wanted in this job. Now you've got to go out and find another job. Forget the football and the entertainment side and fans and all of that, blah, blah, blah. It's that being a footballer is different. You know you've got to perform week in, week out on the training field and a, 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 a take yourself, discipline yourself and make sure you're doing your job within your line of work. But you lot are taking it from the, the flipping entertainment side and man celebrating when they're scoring and this then goes deeper than that. That's why I think it's important that you've actually come on and you've spoken because now you've given the people the opportunity to actually hear from the human being side, not the number nine forward, Leon, Leon Knight. This is Leon the person. This is what I'm trying to say. And now uh, you want me to give somebody sympathy. I will hold grudges and bitterness to my grave. If it's real, 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 if it's little petty shit, calm. That's calm. Yeah, I will brush that to the side. But you see, if it's life-changing shit, it could be 50 years from now, I'm still going to have the same energy. To further reinforce the point, how many years did you dedicate of in your life of football until you got into that point? Right there, how many years did you train? How much sacrifice did you make until you got up to that point to be told that? Let the people know. I sacrificed my whole life. And then to be told. Now, I'm saying this because I want the people to really understand and deep it. You, this is your dream from a kid. You've been, you've, you've been playing. You've always dreamed of this scoring goals for your team, playing professionally, and you've just done nothing but the right thing to get there. And then for that, for the rub to be just pulled under you. Try to understand where the man's coming from. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I got a next club. If I was so bad and people saying, "Well, you must have done something bad," and blah blah blah, and this that, and the other, they paid me up. You're not going to pay someone up. You sack them and tell them, this is why we're sacking you. We're not paying you up. The wages and everything, contract, done. You paid me up. I went to MK Dons. Do you understand what I'm saying? I went to MK Dons. Now what? Man's got the ice cream van in the back. <laughs> 
crown pants. You remember what a 99p? Go to your mum. Because I'm busy up here doing KV, you get me? But yeah, cuz. <laughs> There's no sympathy. When you see me go on a teal, I'm not just being an asshole or trying to draw attention. A man said, oh, who's got a podcast, man? You can see I'm different gear, man's in different gear. I'm trying to hide my hair because there's lockdown and I ain't, I ain't got a trim, all of that. Yeah, man, hey, this is the off the cuff too. He wasn't, he wasn't ill a few days ago. We didn't know he was. But I just called Ash and I said, boy, can we do this podcast now? Because certain things need talking about. So it ain't because we're, and if you might want to call it, oh, we're jumping off the podcast off of his situation, bless no problem. I'll take that. Safe. I'm cool with that. Bless. We're here to talk realness. We're not here to please nobody, innit? Well, I'm not here to, I'm not here to just talk between the lines and rear rearing this stuff. If man feels a certain way, I'm going to let man know I feel a certain way. That's the way I live. That's the, that's what keeps, that's what keeps my head straight. But until people know facts, and I have to be put in perspective of what's going on. Man, I want to talk shit on my name. They don't talk shit about Kenny Jacket. Oh, he's manager of Portsmouth and he's not well at the moment. Ooh, who gives a shit? Because he didn't give no shit when man was saying, boy, man, I have to go find a new club. After doing the dirt that I did for him. And people want sympathy. And oh, it's been 15 years. Oh, let it go. Oh, once again, you prove you're proving how much of a vile piece of human being you are, and blah blah blah, and rare, rare, rare. Well, ugh. yeah, that's calm. We, I, me personally, as a man, I can handle that. But let me tell you something: I ain't gonna let nothing slide across the sideline and go into the waist and go to the over there and be like, ah, oh, it's cool, rare, rare, rare. This kind of, I'm gonna speak about what I feel, whatever's on my head, I'm gonna speak about, and this is what KV is about. Do you get me? It just goes into it. It just goes. That? My man's ill. He done something to me. I said something on the tail. Now I'm putting it in the podcast. Simple. I, I understand why footballers don't come out and go on the way they want to go on and whatever. I've got footballers in my DMs. I will never out them because I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm not a snitch. I'm not nothing like that along them lines or ever been to see anything like that and I would never be yeah but I understand why footballers can't go on the way they go on they've got a fucking life to live that's their job they don't want to jeopardize their job simple but when you come to me now and I'm not in no line of work anymore hence why I couldn't go on like this in the first place the internet wasn't popping like it's popping now. Otherwise, that what he did wouldn't be allowed to happen. A man hit me and said, you should have called the PFA then. Do you think the PFA give a shit, really? So this is KV. In line with my nose football. Yeah? You're going to get the whole truth and nothing but the truth, bro. And that's, that's just the way it's hitting. That's just the way it's hitting the time. And if you don't like it, then that's just it. Thanks for watching. You might not watch again, but bless. But just know when you come on this station here, we're going to spit facts. The truth's being told. You ain't going to be no in-between stuff. Oh, well, he's friend of him and he's friend with him. And that might not be right to say because he's friend with him. And if he's friend with him, then he might be friends with him. And that might not be good because they might be, oh, he ain't going to follow. Fuck all of that. That's what's wrong with the world. This is why people do not chat how they feel. They will just chat, chat behind man's back and then expect everything to be cool. When they find out that man's been chitty chatting behind their back, they're wondering why things is going off. At least if I tell you you're a prick, you know that I think that you're a prick. I ain't gonna be on your back and going, he's a prick, you know. Then when you, when you find out that I called you a prick, you're, everything's blowing up. Same thing on this show, bro. We're going to talk the truth, the whole nothing but the truth. This is KV in line with my nose football, the best podcast in the world. Simple.